All right, drivers listen up because you're going to want to know about the first intersection of its kind in Idaho. ITD says it's going to relieve traffic at one of the valley's busiest intersections. They'll start construction on a half continuous flowing intersection, as it's called, at the corner of Eagle and Highway 44, otherwise known as State Street, beginning on Monday. And once construction is complete, ITD says you'll notice a lot less traffic, uh, but you're going to have to pay close attention as you approach the intersection because it's going to look very different. Joining us now on the News at 4 to talk about these changes is Jake Melder. He's with the Office of Communications with ITD. And Jake, as we take a look at the animated video that you have put out on this, everyone who I've shown this to or has seen it has pretty much the same reaction. And that reaction is, huh? <laughs> Obviously, a first of its kind intersection like this is gonna take some education. And let's start with the basics. Okay, here's a left and here's another left and here you go to a light. Why is this better than the traditional four-way lights uh, with the turning arrow? Explain what's behind all of this. Yeah, it's a great question, Mark, and thanks for having me. So the continuous flow intersection takes the left turns and displaces them. With this being a half continuous flow intersection, that's going to be happening on Highway 44 or State Street. And so you can see there what's flashing in yellow. That's where the left turns are getting displaced. But this movement right here, this is critical. So you can see the left turning traffic and the oncoming traffic is able to go at the same time on Highway 44. That improves efficiency at the intersection, which means you're going to have an overall less delay for everyone going through the intersection. So in effect, what you're doing is you're moving across the lane of the oncoming traffic if you're making a left turn. Say you're coming from the west on State Street, Highway 44, and you want to make a left at Eagle to go into that Albertsons there at the top left quadrant of your screen. You're going to actually cross in front of oncoming traffic headed west on 44. Is that correct? You've nailed it, absolutely. And this is where it's going to be very important. By the time we're done with construction, which will be around this fall, 2021 of uh, this year, uh, we're going. you're going to want to pay attention because that move right there that you just saw, this is heading westbound. So if you're approaching from the east, you have to do that crossover before getting to the intersection. So plan your trip in advance. If you know you're going to be taking a left turn off of State Street or Highway 44, know that you're going to have that crossover several hundred feet before you actually get to the intersection with Eagle Road. But once you've made that crossover, you're going to have a shorter duration where you're, uh, you can go again, like we're seeing right here, the same time that oncoming traffic would go. In a traditional intersection, this move is impossible right. because the through movement has to stop for those left turning movements. Okay, this is a first of its kind in the state. Where, where is this being modeled right now? Where is this in existence? And how much has it improved traffic flow? Because I, 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 I know you guys do a lot of research when it comes to changing things around, just as was the case when ACHD did the turn through lane at Veterans Parkway and State. Uh, what have been the results in other places? Yeah, absolutely. This is uh, a a type of intersection that has been implemented across the nation. It is the right design for this intersection because of the amount of left turning traffic we have. Uh, if folks might be familiar, if they ever go down to the Salt Lake uh, area, Bangor Highway has these types of intersections along there. And what we have seen with some studies following the implementation there is that it has absolutely improved overall efficiency of the intersection. And they've also seen some uh, safety improvements because they're removing some of the conflict points. Conflict points, of course, are where you're more likely to get crashes. By taking that left turn away from the conflict of the through movement, you're reducing the number of conflict points at the intersection, thereby improving the safety as well as the efficiency of the intersection. People are looking at this map right now, Jake, and they're going, okay, I see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight stoplights. That seems like there's gonna be a lot of stopping and going, but you're saying because of the way the flow works, it will actually get you through the interstate intersection in a much more timely fashion. 
Absolutely. A lot of the magic is in the way that we're timing the signals. So yeah, you may see a lot more signals, but we're actually reducing the number of phases at the signal. And because everything's going to a single controller, we're able to time it such so that as traffic goes through the intersection and gets into that area labeled the trap area, there's going to be a reduced delay compared to at a traditional intersection. Mm -hmm. There's a piece of me that sort of almost has to say, trust the engineering, right. but you can go through these other intersections. We do have proof on the ground from other intersections in other states that this really is effective, particularly when we look at the demand of movements right here at this intersection. All right, we've got about 30 seconds. It's a $9 million project, 8 point something million. Uh, when's the completion date scheduled? So we're going to be starting construction weather depending next week. You'll start to see some orange cones out there. We'll be working through the summer and completion is going to be early this fall. Not a lot of pedestrian traffic there. There is a little bit of bike traffic. Uh, have concessions been made for those two? Absolutely. We're going to have movement where you'll be able to cross at the intersection. Uh, there are two areas that you can cross. There's a free running right, as well as the four different legs that are out there. All of those are going to have uh, pedestrian crossing available, as well as notification for the driving public to be aware. It's definitely something that we want to preach, though. Safety right. first. We got to be looking out for those pedestrians as we're driving. And of course, being familiar with how to navigate that intersection. Folks can go on to itdprojects.org to find more about the uh, about the project as well as that video. All right, Jake Melder with ITD. That's a good place to start. That uh, animated uh, video is very interesting. You feel like you're behind the wheel and that's probably something people should practice before that project is complete. Jake, thanks for the insight. Appreciate you.